Hello everyone, this is Viper, uh, also known as Zwan of Clan TDG, and today I'm going to talk to you about preferences and controls of the terrain editor, and we're going to be going over just some uh, basic settings that you're going to want to set before you get started on your projects, and then I'm also going to quickly just show you how to move the camera around a little bit so you can get a basic understanding of how to uh, move around in the editor, and this will prepare you for later tutorials in which you can actually get started and uh, actually create a map so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get started okay and the first thing I want you to do guys is I want you to go ahead and open up a new map I've already got one open for demonstration purposes of this tutorial but uh, just go ahead and open up a new map the default map is fine whatever it's defaulted to uh, just go ahead and get one open I'm gonna wait for a second while you do that so Okay, and now that you've got your new map open, I want you to go to File, and I want you to scroll down and click Preferences. Now, once you have Preferences open, I want you to click on Camera, and I'm going to quickly go over the uh, camera settings here for you. Uh, the first option that you have available is Invert Mouse Motion. Uh, this one's pretty self-explanatory. This is just going to uh, reverse all your mouse actions uh, instead of, you know, up going up and down going down. It'll reverse it and have up go down and down go up, vice versa. Um, I personally that's not my thing so I'm gonna leave it off but that's totally up to you if you want to use it or not uh, translation speed mouse uh, this allows you to set the speed at which mouse actions occur uh, this this applies to things like auto scrolling and just just grabbing and moving the map around uh, medium is pretty good for me uh, again that's a personal uh, preference for you but just let you know what that does uh, same thing goes for translation speed keyboard that's going to speed up the keyboard actions. Uh, you can use the arrow keys instead of using the mouse uh, to perform uh, actions with the camera uh, for moving around. So if you if you do use the keyboard over the mouse, uh, this setting will speed or slow uh, the the speed at which uh, keyboard actions occur. And uh, your next setting is going to be rotate speed mouse and pretty much the same thing there uh, anytime you're using any kind of rotation with the mouse this is going to speed it up and uh, actually I have played around with it if you put it all the way on the fastest setting it's going to cause it to almost auto rotate um, you know faster than you actually could so if you have use for that that's what that's for uh, same with rotation speed keyboard if you're rotating with the arrow keys instead of the mouse that's going to speed that up so those are all pretty self-explanatory but just just want to go over them just so you know uh, as they do apply to the map editor and then moving down we have auto scroll when drag moving the camera to the screen edge now this sounds uh, a bit wordy and uh, complicated but it's actually pretty simple I am gonna just show you how this one works I, I think you should go ahead and check it and what this is gonna allow you to do is when you drag to the edge of the screen your screens gonna auto scroll so you should be able to see that I know it's probably gonna be a little bit blurry but the the screen is, is basically the map is just going to auto scroll so you can do it up down left right any which way you want uh, very useful uh, when you're working on a pretty large scene and you want to just quickly run through it so that's what that does and then we're going to go back one more time and look at the very bottom uh, option here and this is going to be auto scroll when dragging the selection or brush this just means uh, when you're holding the button down to uh, lay a some sort of a doodad or use a terrain brush any kind of brush which uh, we'll get, we're gonna go over brushes later in another tutorial but uh, whenever you're using a brush you can hold it down and drag it and it'll, it'll make a continuous line of whatever that brush is and this just speeds or slows down uh, how fast that brush uh, moves across the screen so that's your basic camera controls and uh, go ahead and uh, soak that in for a second and we're gonna jump right into the next tutorial in just a moment Okay, moving right along, we are now going to talk about the Documents section, so I want you to hit File once again and scroll back down to Preferences, and then go for the third option, which is going to be Documents, and I'm going to go over these settings with you. Um, first of all, you have Optimized Saving for Faster Saves or Smaller Files. Uh, this is totally depending on what you're trying to do. Um, for me, I'm going to pick smaller files because I know that later I'm going to want to compress my maps as much as possible, but... Uh, again, it depends on what you're doing. You can either go for a faster save or you can go with a, a longer save but more compression. So uh, that's totally up to you on that. And then 
uh, by default actually all these settings are going to be unchecked so I'm going to uncheck them and make sure that you uh, are able to follow along. Uh, definitely you're going to want to check automatically save documents. Uh, this is going to auto save your map for you and it's going to save it at whatever time increment you set it at. You can set it with minutes or hours. It's completely up to you. Um, I suggest you leave it on the default to start with uh, of every 10 minutes. Uh, this is just for your safety until you get used to using the editor uh, then you can change that if you want to but this will keep you pretty safe and it will uh, save your map every 10 minutes and ensure that you don't lose uh, a significant amount of work which is always bad and moving to the next option we have automatically backup documents when saving uh, I would suggest definitely that you go ahead and check this also uh, by default what this is going to do is it's going to make a backup of your map whenever you save uh, this is very important. Um, it may not be important right now, but it, particularly when you start publishing maps, uh, a lot of times when uh, Blizzard does a patch, uh, they change things up and you might have to go back to one of your older backups so that you can uh, compare it to the new changes for the new patch and just kind of get some comparison going on there. And it's also good if for whatever reason you overwrite or lose some files. So uh, backups are always good. So definitely go ahead and check that. Um, you can you've got a choice of either saving it in the same location as the original document or you can save it to your own custom folder um, I'm choosing a different folder just just for the sake of separation uh, again it's totally up to you and you can just easily browse make a new folder it's it's very easy to to find a place to put it and your third option here is going to be include automatic saves and what this is going to do is if you, if you check this it's going to create a backup every time you auto save now if you uh, if you if you don't save very often with the auto save uh, it's pretty good but with the default of every 10 minutes I recommend that you don't check it um, you shouldn't need that many backups what I recommend is that whenever you're done working on the map for the day or the night whenever the time may be uh, just go ahead and do a manual save that way it's going to go ahead and back up the map for you and you'll always have a recent backup going there's really no reason to have a, a backup every 10 minutes uh, it's just gonna waste a lot of space and you know just you're just gonna have tons of files to keep track of so uh, I, I would recommend that if you do if you do save very often with the autosave that you do not include uh, backups with your automatic saves All right, and now moving on to the section that I know you've all been waiting for. Uh, I'm going to go over the camera controls with you. Now, I just wanted to do the preferences first so that you've got the foundation laid so that you don't have to do any backtracking. And if you followed the first part of this tutorial, then you should be good to go and ready to just dive in and start making maps. So uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and go over the controls. Uh, this is probably what you're looking at on your screen, just a flat plane. Uh, you may have accidentally zoomed out and be looking at some weird space view, but... Uh, the, the first and most basic control which you probably have already figured out is uh, right mouse drag so if you hold down the right mouse button and you drag up down left or right that's going to just move the map in those directions now alternately if you're not a mouse type person and you're more keyboard driven you can just use the arrow keys and you can just up down left right uh, pretty simple now uh, the next thing you're probably going to want to do is you're probably going to want to try to rotate a little bit. So uh, to do that you're going to hold down control and then you're going to hold down the right mouse button again and drag. And as you see this is going to rotate the map. I can go uh, pretty much any way I want. Uh, there's nothing on the underside of your map uh, that you need to worry about because you're not going to be able to build anything under there. So uh, going underneath your plane is uh, pretty much unnecessary. But uh, Again, that's control, right mouse, drag, and that's going to allow you to rotate. And then finally, the next one that you're really going to need, uh, particularly when you're trying to inspect objects, is uh, you're going to need to be able to zoom in and out. So to zoom in and out, you're going to hold shift, and you're going to hold right click, and you're going to drag again. So uh, just shift, right, drag, and that's going to zoom you in and out. And when you start uh, using these in conjunction, you can start really rotating around and getting a good view of what's going on in the map and that's that's pretty much going to cover the basic camera controls thanks for watching guys and i'll see you soon